Are unsightly holes in your plaster driving you up the wall? The good news is they're easy to fix, and with the right materials and know-how, your walls will be sitting pretty for years to come, no matter what life throws at them. Because at Home Timber and Hardware, we reckon if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. How you repair your plaster holes and cracks depends on how big they are. Fortunately, no matter what the damage, today's modern filling compounds are pre-mixed and make the job a breeze. For small cracks and holes, prepare the area by removing any loose plaster with a utility knife and any dust with a damp sponge or vacuum. Now, mix your plaster cement following the manufacturer's instructions, or better still, use a pre-mixed product. Using a filling blade, apply the first layer and allow it to dry as per manufacturer's specifications. Apply a second coat if necessary, and when that's dry, sand it down with a fine grit paper until the filled area is flush with the wall. When fixing big holes and cracks, simply filling them in won't do. Instead, you'll need to cut out the damaged area and replace it with a new piece of plasterboard. Before you start, it's a good idea to put on safety goggles to protect your skin and eyes. First, cut out a new piece of plasterboard that's as thick as the plaster you're replacing and large enough to cover the damaged area. Now, mark its outline on the wall and using a screwdriver, punch a hole in each corner of the marked area. Start to cut along your outline with a keyhole saw, being careful not to hit any plumbing or electrical wiring. When you're done, break up the pieces and remove them carefully. Now find a piece of timber and screw it behind the existing wall to act as a backing. Make sure you countersink the screws below the wall surface so you can fill them in later. After cleaning up any dust, apply adhesive to the timber backing, then position your replacement plasterboard in the hole and secure it with plaster screws. Once again, countersinking them so the timber backing is supporting the plasterboard. Place joining tape along the join, making sure you don't overlap the tape. To finish up, apply a thin layer of filling compound over the joints until the tape and screw holes are covered. Let it dry, then sand it until it's flush with the rest of the wall. Here's a proper tip. To make the repair less visible, apply a second layer of filling with a broader spread and sand in a circular motion with a fine grit paper. Apply a coat of paint, and you're done. Now you can step back and admire a proper job that will look great for years to come. In fact, you'll forget there was a hole there in the first place. If you'd like more proper advice on a whole range of DIY projects, drop into Home Timber and Hardware anytime. Your local Home Timber and Hardware. The proper hardware store.